if Bitcoin goes down or if Bitcoin after that does like a three or four X, we can make a lot of money and we don't even have to play with altcoins. Let me explain. Welcome to the FOMO factory. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn the bell notification on and check out the Patreon down below. But for now, I want to talk about Bitcoin because it looks too easy. And I know that sounds arrogant or anything, but it is too easy. And as far as the cycle plays out like this, I'm going to put my money where my mouth is. And you can do the same. Now, what do I mean? Well, we have talked a lot on this channel about the Bitcoin cycles, right? And the Bitcoin cycle until today, it is basically playing out since the last 14 years, since the existence of Bitcoin. So... There's not a good reason for me to believe that, you know, now it's going to be totally different, right? You're betting against literally all odds if you say that. And at some point it probably will be different. But hey, as long as it isn't, let's go with that. Right now, how can you go with that? Well, we talked a lot about investing. And what we know is um, usually before the halving, Bitcoin goes up, right? It has a hard run up. It gets to the 618 retracement and it gets a good pullback. Here as well, before the halving, Bitcoin goes up, gets to the 618 retracement. This was actually slightly after the halving and gets a good pullback. And here, Bitcoin goes up, gets close to the 618 and get a good pullback before the halving. So what can we expect right now? Bitcoin run up to the 618 is in the middle of the pullback and then we have the halving and it's usually bullish. Right. Well, you can invest based on this. So what you can do is, of course, see Bitcoin in its pullback, look at the market and be like, OK, you know, we have to pull back. Right. If it goes to like if this is the bottom, if, if 10 percent lowers the bottom, tomato, tomato, let's DCA now. Right. It's a good moment to DCA. Right. A lot of people say this was a way better moment to DCA. No, this was fucking high risk. Right. It's also about risk, not only reward. Right. Um, I'd rather wait for a confirmation and have a slightly higher entry than I'm, a, you know, DCA all the dips. But that's what you can do now, DCA. But you can, if you are really sure, as far as you can be, about this cycle, of course, do leverage. And I thought to myself, like, man, the cycle is so easy so far. Why don't I, you know, trade on leverage? Because usually it wrecks me, right? If, 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 if you, like, the market is very volatile, but I learned my lesson. I'm not going to 20x leverage, but you can do it quite low. And then you can make a lot of money. So um, that's what I'm going to do. And I'm thinking that I'm going to make a series of this video just to show you my position every once in a while. I think that's a good idea. So I'm going to give you what I think is going to happen. And, you know, and I'm going to trade based on that. If you want to use your leverage as well, there's a buy bit link down below. If you don't use it uh, yet, and if you use something else, go ahead. Um, I have to shield something. <laughs> No, but, you know, win-win situation. You have a little discount and welcome bonuses. And you know how it goes. Every YouTuber has it. But if I look at the cycle, what, what, what can we make of this? Well, we first, like, we don't have to predict exactly where things are going, what give or take, right? Like I said, if you do not use a, 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 a 10x leverage or something, you have enough room like you won't get liquidated then right so um, what i'm doing very simple i'm gonna put in a bitcoin short a small one right with enough leverage that i'm only getting liquidated if bitcoin hits like 100k or something but before that i'm gonna stop myself out right you can also set your stop losses so we'll talk about that and after i think like okay you know bitcoin had a it, the, the pullback is like likely over and I'm putting a long in. Right now, let's let's first again study the cycle and then see what we can make out of it. Because you can make a fuck ton of money here, really. Right? If we go to the first cycle, what happened? From the moment that Bitcoin peaked, it went down. 
and it had a pullback of 38%. Right? Now, this is a a pullback that you could have shorted, right? But you know, this was very fast and random and whatever. But okay, 38%. And then we had a parabolic bull run after the halving. Then we had this cycle, right? We bottomed, went up to the 618, and we went down. With how much? 39%. Okay, cool. Right? After that, we went into a parabolic bull run. Now, the last cycle, we went to the bottom, we went to the 618, right? And what happened? We got rejected. 53%. If you include COVID, then it's more like 72, right? But if you don't include the COVID wick right here, then this drawdown was 53%. So again, it's, it's a little repetitive, but this time for another purpose. So we know that based on the cycle so far, that Bitcoin in this period has a pullback of between 38 and let's say 53%. Okay, now if we look at the cycle that we had now, have now, right? What's our current pullback? Well, we went to the bottom again, we went up exactly to the 618 and we have a pullback. Now, what is the current pullback that we had? Current pullback that we had so far was 21%. I don't want to say necessarily like, okay, this time it has to be at least 38, right? It could be way better right now, but it's not even close to average, right? So even if we say like, okay, it's just going to be 30% this time, that's the best case scenario out of everything. 30%, however, is a $34,000 Bitcoin, right? And that would be the best case scenario so far, right? Like, again, we just got rejected four weeks ago. All these pullbacks, you don't want to be too rushy, right? This pullback right here lasted like from July till December. This, this, this took half a year, right? This pullback right here was a lot faster, I think, but still it lasted from June until July. So this took 13th of June until or the 1st of August. So one and a half month. And this pullback right here lasted from August until October. So two months, right? So it, it can take a month for two, maybe even six, right? That That's usually what happens. Or usually that's so far always what happens. So we don't want to say like, oh yeah, you know, it just went down 20% this time in like uh, three weeks, that's it. We still have time, like it could still happen, right? There is nothing that says like, yeah, it can't. So, therefore I feel like, okay, it's not weird to add $43,000 to put a short into it, right? Even, I mean, if you look at this chart right here, Bitcoin, let me clean all the noise right uh, real quick. Look at the chart, quite parabolic already, right? Usually after a hard run, it goes down. It has, at least has to retest some levels, right? So thir again, if you just do 30%, hey, you are, it never did that well, right? So people say like, ah, oh, that's super bearish. That will be the bullish, the most bullish case scenario like ever, right? So that's 30%, right? If we do what we do most cycles, which is 38, then we get all the way down to, that's not from the right uh, place. Then we got all the way down to $29,000, which makes sense, okay? I'm not saying, again, for the people that say, well, we never go that low. I don't know, you don't know, right? Nobody knows. But again, it won't be exceptional. Plus it will take us exactly to this resistance, this resistance, this resistance, this support, this support. It's a huge level. It's a fucking huge level, right? So you can choose to short from this point. And I know a lot of people would say like, yeah, you know, having is coming up, we had the ETFs and now you're gonna short it. Yes, it's, it's the cycle, fuck the narratives, right? The narrative here was the FTX crash. 
didn't matter. The cycle played out again. We bottomed end of 2022, just like end of 2018. And just like end of 2014, we do the same stuff over and over again. Right? If you traded this cycle, right, just like any other cycle right here, you would have made a lot of money. A lot. A lot. It was even quite, in hindsight for me as well, sorry, but in hindsight, it, it, it was even quite easy to predict the exact bottom and top for Bitcoin. <laughs> uh, like, yes, like, if, if again, the four guys, I am so like, top, end of 2013, top, end of 2017, top, end of 2021. And now, when do we get the top? Right? And a lot of people might say like, yeah, well, everybody expects it now. No, by far, not everybody expects it. <laughs> like a very small amount of people. And these are the ones that are getting rewarded for it. But not everybody, right? Most people don't even know or care about crypto yet, right? The retail, uh, our exit liquidity is yet to step in. That's one. To the people that are already in crypto, 90%, more than 90% doesn't know about this. The 10% do does know about it. 5% maybe believes it. And the 5% does believe it. Maybe 2% is actually going to trade on it. Right? Like, don't, that, that's like not... I, I don't believe in that. But it was so easy to trade this. So what I'm doing is what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a short right here. At around 43k. I mean, we're basically at the top. Whatever we go to 45 again or look at it, there's barely any difference, right? So I'm going to short it right there. Lower 40s, let's say upper 30s, I'm already starting to dollar cost out of that short position, right? Just to build a little capital. And then I'm going to put in a long. Now, again, not with a huge leverage. It's not going to work, right? Because what if the market does this? And I'm going to put in a long right here, right? And then it has a bigger retest. I don't want to get liquidated right here. So if you do that with like a 3x leverage or something, you have enough room. On Bybit, you can also use the calculator like, hey, this is how much I'm going to put in. This is my entry level. Uh, this is the, uh, the the leverage that I'm using. What's my liquidation level and how much will I make once we get there and there? It's a good way to upfront do that. Like, don't be an idiot. Just look what your risk is. <clears throat> so I will put in such a long with a low leverage that even if Bitcoin probably goes back to its low, that I'm not even getting, not even getting liquidated, right? You don't want that. <laughs> but the cool thing is, let's say you long from, let's say, I don't know, man, uh, 37K or something. Well, if Bitcoin goes to 150, let's say 150, in my opinion, that's fucking bearish. But a lot of people don't believe that. They'd be like, no, just 80K. Like 80K, what the fuck is broken right here? Why? No, Bitcoin go way, it goes way higher than 80K. That's like also cycle, right? Maybe you're right. Maybe we just go to 80K. But that means that the cycle now is over and different. And yeah, as if today, it still is not. So it's no reason for me to believe that it just goes there. Um, to be honest, 250, I think, something. 300 maybe um and i have very good reasons for that by the way if you want to know let me know if you want to know but let's say 150 and you're getting in at around 35 right that's that's 4x of course you can just spot buy bitcoin there and make 4x and that's nice i mean 4xing your money in like what not even two years that, that's that's good right that's really good but it's not enough, right? Because if you put this on leverage and you write it all the way up, you have 300 and, uh, well, let's say 300% gain. 
But if you do it on a 3x leverage, you have 900% gains, right? So then you're actually making a 10x. And then the fun begins. Let's say you put, I don't know, just a fictional number, right? $10,000 in. And you make 100k with this loan. Take profits, put it on your bank, okay? But it's not me as a financial advisor. It's just me, you know, talking about the trading opportunities and the possibilities. You won't nail the bottom, you won't nail the top, blah, 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 you know how it works. But let's say, hypothetically, you feel like, okay, in a bear market, hmm, it's boring. You should not buy Bitcoin in a bear market. You for sure should not buy altcoins in a bear market. What the fuck can we do in a bear market? Shorting. That's what you can do in a bear market. It's easy, right? Again, if we look at the tops for Bitcoin, like I just said, end of 2013, end of 2017, end of 2021. Hey, it will be purely stupid for an analyst to say that the top won't be end of 2025, right? It's like weird, just weird. So by the time we are approaching end of 2025 and already from the half of it, right? I mean, we're here almost topped out in April already and we still were like, oh no, wait, four year cycle and then down. Like, oh, thank you for that, right? It's so perfect. But you can from, let's say, end of 2025 already start DCAing into your short position. Right? And then it's very simple. We had the bottom, end of 2022. So you can actually short for one complete year. Because probably, and I'm now again th thinking way more ahead, but yeah, it's not that far. End of 2026, the bear market will probably end, right? So you can short for a complete year. So let's say you're putting in a, a total of 100K short on a 3X leverage, right? Enough room to not get liquidated. And Bitcoin here went down 77%. In this cycle, it went down... 83%, so that's a little diminishing, right? Let's say we just go down 70% or so. Mm, nice. 70% down, right, from whatever the fuck. And you do that on a 3x leverage. Dude, it's like, I'm telling this like I'm saying something freaking genius. <laughs> it's, it's probably the most simple shit you can think of, but it is, on the other hand, super obvious. It is super obvious. Right, but a lot of why this doesn't play out for people is because people always say this time is different and they won't place their trades on the obvious bets. Right? This time is different. We're not going to top out here. This time is different. We are not going to bottom here. End of the day, it still happened. Right? And again, this cycle, they will say the same. Nah, this time is different. We will top out sooner or we will name it. I even saw people commenting like we will make a new all-time high before the halving. Bro, I can almost guarantee you that we won't, right? That's not what a cycle does. That's not what a cycle does, right? So it's like we had a top here. We, we, we made a new top like almost a year after the halving. Right. We had our top here, we made a new top, here it was more than half a year after the halving. I don't know about this one, we had a top here, we made a new top, February, this was November, a couple of months after the halving. Right. So it's not that unsafe to short right now. Right? That's, that's like something in the middle, right? You can also wait or to see how it does after the halving and then put your lung in, I don't know. Shoot, shoot yourself, by the way. I'm more talking to myself right here. I at least cannot sue myself. I don't know, is that possible? Oh. <laughs> but that, that's what I'm gonna do. And um, I think I'm gonna show these trades on screen. Right? Just a series every now and then, like, hey, how are my trades going?
and bro yeah there will be days that i'm in a loss right for sure hey maybe i'm a place a short today and tomorrow bitcoin is 45k and i'm in a little loss fuck that right doesn't matter it's a real long-term play this is not even trading really this is more like hey if, if, if the bull market goes like 4x i want to get like a little more than a 4x out of it by just simply not messing with altcoins right i'm messing with altcoins but this trade simple bitcoin let's see so let me know what you think let me know if this sounds like yeah th th i mean hey. why not or do you feel like bro you're gonna get fucking wrecked <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, gonna find out. But I can tell you one thing, by the way. If you do this, set stop losses, right? You won't get wrecked in this case. Right? And also, um, what you can do is, look, I mean, I can now place one last thing. I'm, I'm gonna place my short, let's say, at uh, 43,200, right? Let's say a Bitcoin goes to 41,000. I can always put my stop loss at my initial entry price. Worst case, I'm getting stopped out and, and I don't lose and I don't win, right? So it's easy to stay safe, but don't use, it's a small time frame. Don't use like too high leverage. Um, yeah, just know what you're doing basically. I want to leave it right here, guys. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn the bell notification on and I'll catch you guys tomorrow.